believe in Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands towards heaven and bless the name of the Lord. For it has pleased him for us to be here this morning to witness another carol of nine lesson. It's just by his power and by his grace. Say, Father, I thank you for making me a partaker of today's lesson. As we come into your presence by the gates of grace to your sanctuary so we'll be standing face to face I look upon your countenance and see the fullness of your grace and I can only bow down and say you Jesus higher. Jehovah. I 
Virgins, I conceived, and bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel. Therefore, give thanks to the Lord. Sing a new song. Let all the hell tremble before him. We are using the first order of our liturgy on page nine of our worship book. Dearly beloved, we have come together as the family of God in our Father's presence to offer him praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive his holy word, to bring before him the need of the world, to ask his forgiveness of our sins, and to seek his grace. And through his son Jesus Christ, we may give ourselves to his service. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sin, God is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Therefore, I implore every one of us to go on our knees as we confess our sin in the corporate confession. We sing together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbor in thought and word and deed through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, 
forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and keep us in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
the third lesson for our carol service is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 9.
first lesson is reading, taking reading from Matthew 5, 2 to 4. Fifth lesson. The fifth lesson for this glorious carol service is taken from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. I'll take it again. The fifth lesson for this glorious carol service is taken from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke chapter 1, from verse 26 to 38. Luke
love with God, nothing.
the sixth lesson for today's service is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 2, from verses 1 to 7. Luke 2, from verses 1 to 7. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be ready.
the seventh lesson. Instead of the congregational carol item number 18, we will listen to our youth to have their presentation for just five minutes, please. Your presentation for none more than five minutes, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So um, we, the youth church, decided to sing this song titled Reckless Love by um, Corey Asbury, rather. The reason we chose this song was because we wanted to fully express how God has loved us from January to December. And with the whole pandemic, people losing their jobs, and God's unending love. It's, in fact, reckless. It's poetically reckless. So, as you, lis as you listen to this song, may you be blessed in Jesus' name. So good to me For I took a breath You breathed your life in me Yes, you did, yes, you did, God And you have been so, so kind to me And oh, the overwhelming And I couldn't earn it, and I don't deserve it. Still, you give yourself away. And oh, the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Yeah. your foe, still you your love fought for me. me. Yes, you did, yes, you did, God. And you, you have been, been so, so good to me. Mm -hmm. When and I, I felt no one, you paid it all for me. me. Yes, you did, yes, you did, God. 
And you have been so, so kind to me And all the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God And all it chases me down, I'm still around And it leaves the ninety-nine And I couldn't earn it, and I don't deserve it Still you give yourself away And all the overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God lesson of our carol service is found in the book of Matthew chapter 2, 1 to 12.
the ninth lesson. Let the congregation stand, please. The ninth lesson for this year, 2020, Christmas carol service, carol of nine lessons, is taken from the book, Gospel of John, chapter one. Let us pray. Almighty and loving God, we come together on this day to celebrate the birth of your son, the child laid in our manger 
our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord of a truth, you have done wonderful things for us. We recall the first Christmas centuries ago, the message proclaimed by the angels, nails of great joy. Thank you for this time of the year, the mood and joys of celebration, renewing of all friendship, and coming together of families. Save us, Lord, from becoming over familiar with this season. Teach us to listen to your word and look for your presence. Hear your call and respond to your guidance. Teach us the reality of Christmas and the grace to pass it on to other people around us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. People of God, we want to appreciate God who has brought us together this morning. When February 27 of the year 2020 came, when the news of COVID-19 entered into the country, Nigeria, none of us knew that it would take this much toll. It had pleased God to protect you, to protect me, to protect every one of us. That is on a day like this, what are we doing? We are just rejoicing. Rejoicing in the faithfulness of God. Rejoicing in what God has done for us. Praise ye the Lord. We want to thank the choristers, the choir master, the church organist, and all that have put in so much to make this year 2020 Christmas carol a successful one. They have put in so much effort, no doubt. We were thinking we would spend like three or three and a half hours together today. But during the course of the week, we had a directive that no service should last beyond two hours. That is why we just have to adjust some of the hymn that we have to sing. We are trusting God that none of us will fall victim of COVID-19 in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Brethren, while singing Christmas carol, we sing Christmas carol to share the good news of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Matthew chapter 1, verses 21 and 23, Matthew 21, Verses 20, Matthew chapter 1, verses 21 to 23. The word of God says, And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with a child, and bear a son, and that she call his name Emmanuel, which is translated God with us. This season is the season of rejoicing. This season is the season of giving thanks. This season is the season of sharing. We want to thank God for as many members of the church that have sent things to the vicarage, we want to thank God for as many of our friends that have shared things with us. It is a period for every one of us to give to people around us. Of all the people born on the surface of the earth, only one was born to save the entire world and to the glory of God. That's our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ was born to save the world from sin. He was born to save the world from death. Praise ye the Lord. Of course, the season of Christmas means so many things to so many people. To some, it's a time to make some good money. To some, it's a time to travel around before COVID-19. To some, it's a time to profiteer by creating scarcity in the marketplace, brethren, but you and I know that this season is the time of preparation. This season is the time 
for us to share amongst ourselves who Jesus is, the Savior of the world. He is God. He entered human history to provide solution to our problem of salvation. There couldn't have been anybody to save us. No wonder God sent his only begotten son to save us from sin and to save us from death. As believers, we must celebrate Christmas message properly. Incidentally, many of us have commercialized this season. Many people have taken Christ away from Christmas. If Christ is taken away from Christmas, what remains is nothing. So brethren, it is true that this is a time of rejoicing, but don't let us forget to share the good news of the birth of the Savior of the world. In John chapter 1, the gospel reading to us this morning, in verse number 11, the word of God says, He came to his own, and his own did not receive... for you. He was sent for my sake. In which case the question is, have you accepted him? Have I accepted him? You don't make any wisdom whatsoever for us to allow this Christmas season of the year 2020 to go without effecting the necessary changes in our life. That is propagating the gospel, sharing the good news of the birth of the Savior of the world with as many people as are around us. The grace to do this, again we pray that the good Lord will grant unto every one of us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. As we remain standing, we, are, we shall reaffirm our faith in God in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father. Let us pray. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive them that sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. O Lord, guide and defend our rulers. And deal your ministers with righteousness. 
O Lord, save your people. Give peace in our time, O Lord. O God, make clean our hearts within us. The college. Heavenly Father, you chose the Virgin Mary to be the mother of our Lord and Savior. Fill us with your grace that in all things we may like her accept your holy will and with her rejoice in your salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. The collect for the season. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armor of light. Now in the time of this mortal life, in which your son Jesus Christ came to us in great humility, so that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who is alive and reign with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Brethren, let's return our glory to our God again for another day another opportunity to rejoice and to celebrate the only one, the only God-made man that came and sacrificed his own life for the salvation of every one of us. Let's bless his name. Tell him that you love him and that you appreciate what he has done for your salvation. giving thanks to God for preservation of our lives. Since February 27, as we heard from the sermon, the Lord has been the one that has kept us alive. Let's give him the glory that you and my very self, we did not fall prey to the hand of coronavirus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. There is no much time again to say to continue in prayer because of the limitation we have. But I want you to summarize this by singing, The Lord, you are good. The Lord, you are good. The Lord, you are good. You are good to us. You are, oh Lord, you are good. Our God. You are good. Oh, yes, our God, you are good. The Lord, you are good. You are good to us. You are good. May we accept our praises in Jesus' name. Brethren, I want us to speak to God this morning. Let's tell God the salvation that Christ has brought. I want us to pray we will not lose our own salvation. Let's pray that God himself will help us to enjoy that salvation. It's a great sacrifice, and it's a great thing that he has done, that we might be co-opted and ad been adopted back to Christ. To God Almighty, who is our maker, we err in the Garden of Eden, but Jesus came. I want you to pray to God. You will not lose the salvation of your soul, even as we continue to celebrate in this Christmas period. Brethren, in case any of us, if there is any here that sit doubting his own salvation, to bring yourself before the Lord again. We cannot just continue to celebrate year in, year out without knowing the Lord of that Christmas. Pray to God 
that your soul shall not be lost to the devil. Pray that you will be for him. Pray that your salvation shall be sure. And as many of us that are sure of our salvation, let's pray. Father, grant me the grace to continue to the end in serving you and standing for you alone. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I want us to speak to God. The Lord that has been our help to this very day, the 28th day, let's speak to him that he will see all through to the end of the year. There is no doubt that this remaining 11 days of the year 2020, some people will still die. But I know that we are not going to be part of them, likewise my very self. And so decree to God, Father, let your preservation be sure over my life and my household. All members of my family, pray to God that your sure protection shall be upon us. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Let's pray as one family of St. Jude here that God will be with every one of us. All the families of this church, let's declare that the joy of the Lord will fill our hearts. I want you to pray. It does not matter what the challenge might have been. You know, we, we have faced a lot of challenges. The one we cannot, we can't count all those challenges, but then God says that we should be of good share, that he has overcome the world for us. So let us pray that God will help all the families of St. Jude, those that are identified with us, our friends and we wishers, that we will not hear bad reports from anyone. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Let's remember some brethren that are celebrating their birthday today and in the course of the week. Let's ask God that he will bless them with the joy of their new year. In Jesus' name. We remember Mrs. Mujisola Uluyole. Remember Uluwa Torimo Fabangu. Master Shiji Adeyemi, Sir S.T., and the Jem Adekola for their wedding anniversary, Chief Mrs. Abiodun Adegui, Mrs. Bukola Said for her wedding anniversary as well, Mr. Babatunde Duro Jaye, Mrs. Titi Lola Caroline Piton, and Miss Esther Kolade. Let's commit all this one to God's able hands and all others that the Lord Almighty will remember them for good. Long life, good health, and prosperity shall be their portion. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We cannot still forget some brethren that are suffering for one, uh, from one sickness or the other. Some deaths as a result of the COVID-19, others are just the ordinary disease of whatever reasons. But let's commit them all to God's hands. We remember Jesus Christ, through his stripes, we are healed. So the chastisement that brought us peace was upon him. Let's declare that all those that are sick, that God will heal them. Remember people like Brother Paul, Brother Uluko Ejo, Brother Bamidele. Remember Sister Rachel and Sister Christiana. Let's commit all these ones to God's able hands. Declare that it shall be well with them. Those that are having organ problem, God is more than able to work things out in them. Let's just commit them all to God's able hands. 
use this opportunity again to pray for yourself. That for the rest of the year, even beyond, the Lord himself will perfect your head. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Brethren, let us remember all our fathers in God, starting from our primates, our archbishops. Let's remember our own bishop of the Diocese of Lagos West. Pray for all the administrators of all our Hajikurins, especially Ikusi Hajikiri here. And using our own vicar here as point of contact to all other priests, that God Almighty will be with them and give them with the grace of service and the favor and auction to serve God better. Remember all other lay workers, the lay leaders, the choir guild of steward, some of the school teachers, session and other workers in this place. Let's ask that the Lord will bless them. Grant them all the joy of serving him. In Jesus' name we are praying. We remember all the elders. Let's bring them before the Lord. Thank God for the faith of those that are even here. Let's pray that God will help them that they will not fall sick. They will not be infected. Pray for our children as well. As we round up, brother, uh, brethren, let us bring our own personal petition before the throne of grace. Bring all those things that we want God to do for you before him. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Almighty God, you have given us grace to be before you with one accord, our common supplication. And you promise that when two or three are gathered together in your name, you will grant their request. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desire and petition of we, your servant, as may be most expedient for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the world to come, the fullness of eternal life. The grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all and evermore. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. People of God, praise ye the Lord. It is time for Thanksgiving. Time is not our friend this morning. It is time for Thanksgiving. Our Sunday offering, our building fund, our covenant seed, and of course our tithe. We have all the envelopes. Let's just drop them in the big bag and dance back to our seats. As we do so, the good Lord will bless every one of us mightily in Jesus' name. It is time for Thanksgiving. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house.
Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we are indeed grateful unto you again for a time like this. Thank you, Father, for your provisions in our life. Thank you, Father, for the works of our hand. We are grateful unto you for the grace granted us to bring to your house this morning. Be thou exalted, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we have brought to you our tithes, our Sunday offering, our contribution towards the building fund. Father, let all this be acceptable by you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray concerning the works of our hand, Lord, continually increase us, continually increase our cause. Open the heavens over our heads in the name of Jesus. For as many as are struggling with the works of their hand, or those looking unto you for better jobs, Lord, grant these desires of their heart to them in the name of Jesus. As we are brought to your house this morning, Lord, we pray. The grace will bring to your house on daily basis, so that your blessing on our now will be increased on daily basis. Lord, release unto us all. Thank you, everlasting rock of ages. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Brethren, we want to rejoice with the family of Dr. and Mrs. Jaye Oyedoto. No doubt, God has done so much for this family in the year 2020. You remember two of their children got weathered in the UK during the pandemic period. To the glory of God, they are with us today. So the family want to thank God for the much that God has done for them. Oh, you daughter family, kindly come forward for your thanksgiving. Oh, wow. 
the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. King of glory, we are grateful unto you for this day of rejoicing. Thank you, Father, for the entire Oyedoto family. We are grateful unto you, Lord, for the more you have done for them, even since the beginning of this year. Thank you, Father, for Leke. Thank you, Father, for Anna. Thank you, Father, for the marital journey that you have just started. They know nothing on this journey. We are trusting in your faithfulness that you will lead them through. Father, they are in your presence. Bless them mightily. Amen. Let your presence remain with them. Amen. Let no evil befall them. Amen. Concerning the words of their hand, Lord, the wisdom to stand up, Father, release unto them. Amen. In their going out and their coming in, you will protect them Amen. from all danger, sin, and unseen in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray for Baba Oyedotu, we pray for Mama Oyedotu, and the entire family here represented this day. Today's celebration shall not be the last in your family. Amen. Occasion of rejoicing shall not cease in your family. Amen. For as many of us that are rejoicing with you today, our neighbor will rejoice with us as well in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, eternal rock of ages. As this year is running to our end, Father, we pray none of us will expire with this year. Amen. For the duration of the stay of your children in Nigeria, Father, we declare evil shall not befall them. Amen. They shall have no regret. Amen. And by the time they will go back, it will be in joy and in celebration. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We are using Leke and Hannah as part of contact for as many as are trusting God for their own partners. Lord, divinely connect them Amen. with the bones of their bone and the flesh of their flesh. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, our Father and our God. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Kabi yesi o o sana o o Family altar thanksgiving. Our mothers will come forward with their family altar thanksgiving. Let's do that quickly. Time is not our friend. It's already 10 o'clock, please. Family altar thanksgiving. For what the Lord has done, I will sing hallelujah. For what the Lord is doing.
with you. And also with you. Let us pray. People of God, let's commit the rest of this week to the Lord in our prayers. Ask for divine protection. Pray that no evil shall befall every one of us and members of our family. Ask that the rejoicing of this season shall not be short-lived in our hearts and in our families. Commit your journeys in this week to the Lord. Declare that none of us will make journeys of no return. And as we are counting down to the end of the year 2020, pray that every one of us will cross over into the year 2021 in joy and good health. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Unto God's mercy, care, and protection, we commit to all. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. The Lord lead the countenance of his faith to shine upon you and grant you his peace. Amen. Peace in your heart. Amen. Peace in your homes. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. of God wish your neighbor a Merry Christmas. We want to thank God for as many of our fathers and mothers that we are seeing today. KBSC, we're so glad to have you around with us, sir. The good Lord will strengthen you in Jesus' precious name. No doubt we have so many people worshiping with us for the first time, probably on the invitation of the Oedotu family. If today is your first time of worshiping with us in this church, can this time we want to welcome you. We want to formally welcome you. Please stand, we want to welcome you. God bless you, my brothers. God bless you, mommy. God bless you, our daddies. God bless you. Let us welcome them, please. Something, Something wonderful, wonderful. Great and marvelous. Something gonna happen to you today. Something wonderful, great and marvelous. Something's gonna happen to you today. Something
again, we want to remind us that on the Christmas day, 25th of December, we have on a service at 9 a.m. The Christmas day Holy Communion service will be at 9 a.m. by the special grace of God. We want to especially welcome Licky and Anna to our midst. We rejoice with you again. Congratulations. The good Lord will order your steps all right in Jesus' precious name. Brethren, it's expected of every one of us to take responsibility. The second wave of COVID-19 is almost with us. So the little protocol that we have been issued again, let's ensure we do all this. If we do all this religiously, we are trusting God that none of us will fall victim of COVID-19. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Praise ye the Lord. We want to thank specially, I've thanked them during the sermon, the choristers, the choir master, the organist, and all those who put in so much to make this day a great one. It's our prayer that today's celebration shall not be the last in the life of every one of us. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. We want to rejoice with one of, one of our sisters, Barry Sabola Kishete is very much with us. Barry Sabola Kishete, can they come forward? Today is Bola's birthday. She has been dodging coming out. Successfully, her husband dodged it the other time, but Bola cannot. Uh -huh. We will honor God by standing, and we will all sing happy birthday unto our wonderful sister. Members of the Christian Mother should please wait to see Mrs. Adeniji immediately after this service. Members of the Christian Mother should please wait to see Mrs. Adeniji immediately after this service. Again, we wish every one of us a wonderful week in the presence of the Most High God. Thank you very much and God bless you all. On that note, we draw a curtain on this service by singing the closing carol.
Hallelujah. King of kings and Lord of 